All right, so it's Sunday night and I'm calling it quits. As you can see, I've got my two mock-ups and I finished the bodice and I am so far really happy with the way this is turning out. I was trying really hard to get the checks to line up and I think I did a pretty good job. They even kind of line up on the two halves of the collar, which which I can't believe that actually worked as well as it did. So, so there are the skirt pieces and the pockets and the waistbands set out ready for tomorrow. And look at my floor. So yeah, we'll see how tomorrow goes, but it's Labor Day, so I'm not sure how much time I'll have, but I would love it if I was still able to finish the dress. The skirt really won't be that hard. I've just got to sew the pockets in, put the lining together, sew around all of the edges, um, attach it to the waistband with the pleats, attach the waistband to the bodice, um, whip stitch to finish off the rest of the edges, and then buttons and buttonholes. I can do that. Yeah. All right, good night. All right, so it is the end of day three. Technically, it's the beginning of day four. It's after one o'clock. I really wanted to finish this jumper dress today, but I am just not gonna have time. It is almost done. I am literally down to the buttons and buttonholes and some internal snaps. The pleats turned out nice. The patterns line up. The skirt hangs, uh, I don't know. I, I think it hangs a little weird. I'm not sure though. It might straighten out once I actually start wearing it. I think that's just because of the way I sewed in the lining. I'm not sure what I should have done differently. So I'm a little bit behind schedule. I wanted to have this one done today and do two smaller projects, maybe two shirts tomorrow to catch up. Um, that may still happen. I'll need to finish this dress with the buttons and buttonholes tomorrow morning, but I may still have time tomorrow in the afternoon to make two simpler designs. And here it is. So I'm done with the jumper, the first piece out of 15, and it is day four, which means that I am fairly behind schedule already, but I am really happy with the way this turned out. The bodice is really nice. It fits me perfectly. All of the buttons and the buttonholes look good. All of the plaids line up almost perfectly. I am, I couldn't be more happy with the way it turned out. The only thing that I don't like about it is the hemline. And the problem with the hem is that I, I use this method of attaching the lining so that none of the selvages would be visible. But the problem with it is that the lining has a very different weight and drape than the fabric from the skirt. And it's just kind of creating this overhang and it's shifting and the, the it's a, a, right here, it goes across the bias. So it's getting stretched down this way, all of which does not improve the overall look. So what I think I'm gonna do to fix this is I'm gonna separate the two hemlines and then give the skirt and the lining each an individual hem. However, I need to move on to the next piece of the project. So I'm gonna come back and do that when I have time later. But meanwhile, I'm getting ready to start the next section. I'm gonna make the black fitted t-shirt and I bought this from Joann's today. This is a 95% rayon, 5% spandex. It's really soft, it's got a good stretch. I like it a lot. I'm going to use this shirt that I already own as a pattern. I'm just going to shorten it a bit. I'm going to taper in the waist to make it more fitted. And then I'm going to lengthen the sleeves. And hopefully this project will take me, you know, less than a day. Shouldn't take me more than a few hours if I really get focused on it. And hopefully it'll, it'll help me get caught back up quick. Okay, so today is Wednesday, September 5th. Um, today I had to work, so I didn't have any time to sew, but I did make the 
two of the fabric designs that I'm going to use. I did the Ditsy Acorn print and I did the Orange Eye print. So I'm going to go ahead and get those ordered tomorrow morning. So hopefully I get them in time to actually use them for this project. And tomorrow it's back on sewing. Okay, so it is Thursday night, September 6th, and today I finished the black t-shirt, and I started on the white linen tank top. This is actually closer to done than it looks. I just have to finish hemming this front edge, hem the bottom edges, and then add the shoulder straps, which will wrap around and hem these edges. So tomorrow I should be able to finish this after work and then hopefully still um, get the fabric designs finished and ordered and then Saturday start on a new project. Okay, so it is Friday night, September 7th, and I did not get any sewing done today. Instead, when I got home from work, I redid the acorn print because I had tried to do it in Photoshop instead of Illustrator, and I'm not very good at Photoshop, and basically it turned out with way too low of a DPI when I uploaded it to Spoonflower, and it consequently was way smaller of a print than I wanted and it looks like it might end up being blurry so I went back to what I know and I redid it using Illustrator and a vector format and I like it a lot better now so I have both of those ready to order and also I had planned on ordering them in rayon from this other company I found but they, their website, either it has errors or it's set up in a misleading way because it said it was $20 a yard for rayon. But when I went to actually try and put through an order, it's like a sliding scale of prices. So it starts at $65 for one yard and it doesn't get to $20 per yard until you get to five yards. So I might still order from them at some point. But for now, I need to just, uh, for it's, it's too much for this project. So for now, I'm going to use Spoonflower fabric for all of it. And I'm going to use satin for the eye print dress and silky fail for the um, ditzy dress. So yeah, tomorrow is Saturday and I'm planning on sewing for the whole day. So I will finish the linen tank top in the morning, and then go to Joann's and get fabric, probably for the blue jeans. I think I really need to get those going, otherwise I risk putting them off too long and it turning into a really complicated project that I can't finish until it's too late. So yeah, that's the, that's the current updates and plan. So it is Saturday night, the end of my first week working on this project, and as you can see, I've finished three items, including the linen tank top. The tank top turned out alright. I'm hoping that it'll soften up with wear because the linen is very thick and a bit stiff right now. So I, I'm i hoping that with wearing it and washing it for a month, I'll kind of break the linen in and get it a little bit looser. But I really don't know because I haven't got that much experience with linen. So we'll find out. In other news, I have my pattern all laid out to start the blue jeans, hopefully tomorrow. Although as you can see, my plans for tomorrow never work out the way they were supposed to. But I'm just going to be using a stock pattern for the blue jeans because I've never made blue jeans before and I don't want to get too creative with it. And, I mean, I don't think I've even made pants other than just flannel pajama pants. 
The blue jeans are definitely the most intimidating part of this project to me, so I'd kind of like to get it out of the way, especially while I'm waiting for some of the fabric I've ordered online to arrive. And I bought my denim today, and I have it washed and laying out to dry. So I bought the denim for the blue jeans, the navy cotton sateen for the blazer, I have some gray wool twill on the way. I ordered that this week from fabric.com. I still have not ordered my three fabric designs because I haven't finished the floral leafy fabric for the skirt. So I still need to get that done. I was wanting to work on it tonight, but I'm running out of time trying to put together this first weekly progress video. But after that, I'll still need to order the yellow rib knit online but everything else I can get from Joann's, I think, and the rest of the project should go pretty smoothly. Of course, you know, I always believe that, and that usually doesn't happen, but I'm optimistic. Anyways, if you have no idea what this video is about, I'm trying to make a capsule wardrobe from scratch, and once the month of September is over, I'm only going to wear the items that I finish for the month of October, so pressure's on but I'm going to publish weekly update videos tracking my progress for each week. The goal is to finish four items a week, so as you can see I'm already a little behind, but the plaid jumper dress was a pretty big project, so that ate up a lot of the week, as well as trying to finish the fabric designs for the three original prints. So we'll just see how next week goes. The plan is to do the blue jeans first, then once I get the wool twill make the skirt, then probably start the blazer, although I might hold off on finishing the lining. And if I have time past that, I definitely want to get the blouse started. If you're interested in this and you're curious to see the progress, I would go ahead and subscribe because I will upload another video next Saturday tracking the progress that I make this coming week. So I will see you again Saturday, September 15th.